we have already covered lots of things about the component in lots of previous videos now in this video we will talk how can we create a new component in angular application let's open the code this is a sample application that we have created in one of the previous video let's open this entire code in the vs code editor so right click on this one and choose this open with code and because we have created few initial files in few previous videos so first let's commit the current changes so that we can learn what all changes we will make in the future let's click on this commit let's hit the commit button and at this time we do not have any pending changes now whatever change we will make that will be a new change and over here in this vs code editor we can use the terminal you can use powershell command prompt as per your choice now because we have to create a new component in this angular application so we have to write a new command by using the angular cli and for that we can simply write ng generate then what we are going to create a component and here we can give a name to our component for example here i'm writing home just hit the enter button at this place you can see that it has created four files one two three four and it has updated something in this app.module.ts let's open this app folder and here you can see we have one more new folder and inside this new home folder we have four further files this is the home this is the component file so this is the name of the component file and this home component is implementing this on init then we have this css file this html file and this spec file by default if you will create a new component then it will add all these four files now for example we do not want to create this spec file in the component then how can we do that the simplest part is we can simply delete it from here or we can write everything in the command and this file will not get generated now let's assume that we have to create a new component and i do not want to create this spec unit testing file so for that i can simply type the ng command that is ng space g because i am going to generate something so instead of writing the entire generate keyword i can simply use the g then space and for the component i can simply use c give some space and here we have to give a name to our component for example here i am writing login then give some space and over here you have to write skip test and here we have to pass true because we are skipping the test hit the enter button this has created three new files in this application so here you can see we have only three files and again it has updated something in this module file let's open this login folder this time and here we have only three files now let's see what changes we are having in the modules and just for the better understanding i can open this section and here you can see we have some changes in this app module what changes here you can notice that we are declaring two new components and we are importing these components from this place so the main purpose is that we are declaring these component in the ng module and if you are creating a new component by using the angular cli then this entire part will take place automatically it is not necessary that you have to use the angular cli every time you can simply use your editor to create these files and you can also import these settings manually over here in this module file but if you are using the cli angular cli then these settings will take place automatically now let's assume i want to create one more component inside this login component and you can create any hierarchy over here so for that let's say here i'm writing ng g c and we have to give an entire path so let's say i want to create one new component in this login then slash and give the name of your new component let's see here i'm writing logout hit the enter button this time you will notice that inside this login component we have one more component so by defining the entire path you can create your component at any place now for example i want to create one more component and the path is completely different so let's say it is ng g c and here i'm writing path 1 then the path 2 and inside this i want to create new component let's say it is comp1 hit the enter button 
this time you will see that we are having a new folder with name path1 here also we have one more folder path2 and inside this path2 folder we have one more folder that is com1 and inside this component1 we have the new component this is how you can create a new component at any place and as we are adding a new component in this application we are getting its name in the declaration over here in this app module if you have noticed one thing over here whenever we are generating a new component a new folder with that name is created and inside that folder all these files are getting generated let's assume that i want to create a new component without a new folder so how can i do that for that i can simply write ng gc your name for the path let's say it is sign up and i do not want to create the sign up folder i simply want to have it flat structure so for that i can write flat hit the enter button and this time you can notice that here at the root level inside this f folder at the root level we are having this new sign up component and you can use the same technique to create the component at any place let's say you want to create one more component inside this login but you do not want to give the new folder then you can simply use the login and use the dash dash flat this dash dash flat basically is the options that we can add while generating a new component there are lots of other options that you can use in your ng generate component command and to learn all of them let's go to the angular official website and here you can search for angular cli just open this one and here you can notice that there are lots of commands because we are working on the ng generate so we have to use this ng generate section from the left side click on this one and here you can see that first we can use ng generate then what we are going to generate then the options we can also use the sort form that is the g and over here you can see that we can generate following type of things by using this and the generate command so we can use this app cell application class component so we can generate basically the component and this is what we are learning in this video so let's click on this component and here you can see that we can use ng generate component the name of the component we can also use ng g and component and name and at the last we can pass the options the name of the component is basically a string type then here are some options that we can pass in this command as of now you might find some of the concept unknown to you but when you complete the tutorial at the last you will see that these are very familiar to you display block export flat so this was the option that we were using in our command create a new files at the top level of the current project okay this is the boolean type inline style you can pass the boolean value for this one also inline template let's say you are having multiple modules in your application and by default the immediate parent module of the component will be used as the module for that component but in case you are having multiple modules at the same level and you are generating new component then you can define the parent module by using this dash dash module simply use dash dash module equals the name of your module prefix project selector and lots of other things are there and we are also using this skip test so if you will pass the true value then this will not create this spec.ts and this is the default value for this particular command then we can also use this style if you want to generate css as css then you can also pass all these things over here by default this is the choice just open the official website of this angular and you will get lots of materials over here now because we have created lots of components in this application if i search this application and open it in the browser automatically and this application is working fine over here but as of now you can see that we are getting the data from this app.component.html why only this component is working because in the app module we have defined this app component as the bootstrap component and to navigate in between these components we have to use the routing now let's assume that i want to use this home component on our page so how can i use that to learn that concept first let's open the home component in the home component you can notice that we are having this section first you can notice that this is a simple class so it is a class home component and it is implementing this own init method let's remove this part because it is not required as of now let's remove this constructor also so now you can see that this is a very simple class it has nothing in it let's remove this own init import as well and this import is basically something like a namespace 
this component exists at this place so we are importing it over here by using this syntax now this is a very simple class and in this class the special is this part so first we are having this at the rate component this at the rate component is basically a decorator and this decorator is making it a component in this at the rate component we are having three important properties we can also have more than three and less than three also so first we have this selector so because we are having multiple components in the application so how will you identify one single component this is the name of this component by using this app home we can use this component anywhere so this will work as an html tag and this is the template url the template that we are using in this particular component is at this particular path if you want to navigate to the definition of this add component then simply right click and choose this go to definition here you can notice that this is again an interface and it is extending something directive if i scroll down a little bit then you can see that there are lots of fields over here we have this view provider module id template url template style urls style so here you can notice one thing that we are using template url and the template as of now in the current implementation we are having this template url but we can also use this template so the main purpose is that here we can have more than three properties and less than three properties also based on the need now here i want to use this home component at some other place so if i copy this name and navigate to the app.component.html which is this one and here i can simply use this part as an html tag like this if i save the changes and navigate back to the browser here you can notice that we are getting this message from the app component and this message is coming from the home component now let's understand how this app component is working so for that let's go to the app component what is the selector of this app component it is app root so it means we have used this app root somewhere in this application and we have used that in the index.html file over here inside this body you can notice that we are using this selector over here app root if you want to use your own component as a bootstrap then first you have to make changes in the app.module file over here in this bootstrap and you have to use the selector of your component here in the index.html file then only it will work as a bootstrap component now let's see a simple use of this component if i copy this tag and paste it multiple times let's say here i'm pasting it four times then you can notice we are getting the same message over here four times it means if you are having some complex logic in this one component then we can reuse it multiple times anywhere and the same thing is also applicable with other components so i can simply use one more component over here let's say this login the selector for this one is this app login just copy the selector again go back to the app component and it is not necessary to write everything in the app component you can create your hierarchy by your need for example here i am using this app component just paste it over here on the browser you can notice that we are having this login box and i can also use the same component inside the home component so if i navigate to this home component and this message is basically coming from this html file because this is the section that is generated automatically so that is why we are having this home box if i update this message like hello from home save the changes then you can notice we are having all the messages over here now i can use this login component here also like this now what is happening this message is coming from this home component this one and this message the last one is coming from the app component because here we are using this login as a child component in the home component that is why we are having this message and this is the component that we are using at the root level of the app component so this is how you can use your components multiple time now there are a couple of more things to learn about this component and we will learn that part in the next video